Hey, what's going on guys? So in this part of three, we're going to be focusing on pickups and things like that. We're going to set up variables. Uh, so when you collect coins, it will add to a balance. We're going to add some text that will also display on the screen. And then we'll have things like particle effects as well for when you collect the coin, things like that. So let's just get to it. So what we need to do is we need to right click. And once again, we're going to add a sprite. And then what we want to do is we want to head over to so we want to head over to the game assets pack and inside of here we want to head to misc and then we want to so in here there's a bunch of different stuff right now for now what i'm going to do is i'm going to select just the gold coins alternatively you could use the other coins if you'd like they're just added there for you know for, for just just so you've got more options so you could do you know different coin types or things like that for this game i'm going to use just um for now at least anyways we'll use just the co gold coins and then I'll also add a crystal and uh, maybe if there's time in the future videos we'll add some other different stuff but okay so as you can see we now have the coin and if we hit play we already have a nice little animation it's just what we need to do is once again like with the you know, the character animation before we just need to speed it up so let's set this to 10 we'll loop it and that looks alright so we've got an animating coin what we can then do is we can rename this to coin and we can actually just drag this in now okay so let's head over to the event sheet and we can start working in here so right click and we're going to add a global variable and we're going to call this coins or you could call it balance this variable here is going to store how many coins you've collected we're going to keep it as a number and the initial value to zero now what a global with it being a global variable, this means that it will work throughout all the different layouts. So throughout all your different levels, this will still carry over. There are many other ways you can go about uh, collectibles and and variables, but for this tutorial, keeping it simple and uh, you know beginner friendly, we're just going to use global variables. However, in the future, there are other things such as using dictionaries, or you know you can even use player variables and things like that. But maybe we'll look into that in the future. Okay, so once we've got the variable, we can also go into here, and we can add an event, and we can go... Now actually, before we do this, let's let's add some groups to keep everything nice and tidy. So we can, we can go in here, and we can just add a group, and we can call this pickups. And this is just to show you that you can create groups and everything, and it, it just keeps everything nice and clean. And now... It's not as important on the big on the on the free version as you can only have so many events, but even still, it's nice to keep everything organized. Another thing you can do is you can also change the colors if you'd like. So you could, you could make it blue if you want, and you can also change the text color. If, if that's just if something that you enjoy, yeah. So, anyways, we'll go into here. We're gonna go character. We're going to go with on collision with another object, coins, and then we want to system. We want to go to global, so we want to go to global variables, and we want to select add to coins, and we want to add one. So every time we collide with a coin, we will add one to coins. And now at the same time, we want to make that coin disappear. So we want to go to coins. And we just want to set it to destroy. Now we won't see this just yet, so in order to be able to see this in effect, let's add some text for now. So what we can do is we can go to insert new object, text. Okay, so let's just rename this text to coins. We're gonna I'm gonna make this a lot larger, so we'll we'll set this to a huge number, we'll make it 60. I'm going to make it white. And also what you can see, so you can also, you can select different fonts as well if you'd like. So you could use this one, it's nice and bold. And then you could even make it a number just so you could see how it look. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to add an action. Now you can see the text on the page, so we're going to select that. We want to search set text. And then we're going to delete these quotes. And we want to search coins. And now you want to make sure that you choose the one with the globe, as this is the variable. 
Now this is telling the text to update to the global variable. So every time you collide with a coin, it's going to add one of two coins, destroy the coin, and then set the text to coins. So now, also actually, we should also now remove the default text so we see nothing, or we could make it zero. And then we hit play. So as you can see, we have no coins. And then we walk into the coin, we have one, two coins. So that's working. Now the coins are a little small, so we could also just scale those up maybe. I'll update the pack shortly as well to, um, as I make this, I'll make things better scale and fit with this project. So for now, we'll see if it, if it doesn't make it look too bad. So we can just go to, we can just go 250 by 250. And this is just going to, it's going to be much better for this project right now. And then another thing what you can do is if you just hold control and then click and drag, that allows you to drag out more coins. I'm going to drag the character over here. And then what we can also do is another thing I'll show you is if you select all these coins, we can right click, we can he head over to align, we can go to edges and we can align them all so that they're on the same height. And at the same time, we can also align again and we can go to space and we can align them horizontally. So now they're all nice and evenly spaced out. I'm just going to bring them down. And there we go. Now uh, let's add a particle effect. So what we can do, we can right click, insert a new object, particles. Now this will open up. Now for the particle, what we can do is we could just select the colors over here. We can get a nice gold color. Like this. We can just select the, the brush and let's set the size to something like, oh, that's too big. Thought it will do, I think, or we can try 50. That's a bit better. So for this, you could even, just to keep it simple, you could simply click once and just add a, dot, a simple dot. And then now, so to the left, we now have all the different properties for a particle effect. So as you can see, we have the rate at which it fires. We have the spray cone, which is, so you can see the red lines here. This is showing where it's going to spray out from. So what we should do is if we set this to 360, it will make it a straight line, but this now means that this can spray out in all directions. And then on top of this, we can set it to a single shot. So again, you can choose between continuous spray or a single shot. So a continuous spray might be good for maybe rain or you know some particle that's going to keep going on for a long time. However, for this, we just want it to go off one time when you hit a coin. So we're going to go one shot. And we can also, over here, you can see preview. If we hit preview, you can see how it will look. Let's speed it up. We can then also, let's set the, I want to increase the size a bit. And then, so here where it says 32, let's change that to 64. We don't need 50 particles, I don't think. 25, that looks good. And then what we can also do is we can go through all these different things. So we can also randomize it a little bit. So we could go 25, 25 on the X and Y randomizer. And as you can see, it just adds a little bit more of a random movement. We could also add a slight speed randomizer. So they all come out at different speeds. Again, size randomizer. If we made that 50, it just adds a slight variety of, um, of of size so I recommend really playing around with this the particular system is is a lot of fun um, and you can make some really cool looking things with just simple shapes and colors with this so it's great for that you could even add a bit of gravity so we could go down here where it says gravity if we make that 30 or we could even go really high and say 100 and then it will what we can do is we can make it so that they will it will drop down 
so it looks as if it shatters out and then it will fall to the floor. I'm going to go back in here real quick and I would just like to make this a little larger so let's make this 80 instead and I'm actually going to quickly I want to change the color a little more make it a little more golden so I recommend playing around with that I will leave this for now but I really would spend some time even if you pause the video right now and just have fun with this and just keep trying different particle effects because the slightest change can make a huge difference as well and it's a lot of fun playing with this so I recommend looking into this a little more so once you're happy with your particle head over to the event sheet again and we're going to add another action we're going to select coins and we're going to select create so we're going to select spawn another object object we're going to select particles we can drag this above destroy and let's test this so as you can see it's now spawning particles now this is spawning behind the characters so what we can do is on the start of the layout select the coins and what we can do is if we scroll down to the bottom we have the Z order and we could simply select move to top so that means what we could do is so for all the different pickups and things this is just a good way to get around the lack of layers so you could make it so on the start of the layout you could manually set different layers and on top of this so we need to we can set this so that the layer we put we have to put in quotation marks by the way and we will do main and we can select it here and there we go so the particles now in front okay great let's add a few more items for this so we're going to now add a few more things using a fairly similar method so the same way we added the coins let's add a crystal and then we'll also add a food item and we're going to link that to a health variable now we're going to go more into depth on the health system in the next episode when we set up damage and we'll start adding things like hazards and enemies but for now what we can do is we'll select the character we want to head over to instance variables and we're going to add health alternatively you could add this as a global variable but i think for things like health or your damage and things like that it's better to put it in the actual instance variable so at the initial value we'll set that to 100 just to give it a nice even number and once again this is just setting us up for the future episodes we can insert a new object we're going to add a sprite and then we're going to select meat here now this sprite doesn't have an animation but what we can do is we can add something called sign now this is this will just give it a bit more animation so what we can do is we head over to behaviors we're going to search sign and then if we preview this as you can see this moves left and right we can change this to vertical and just like that it's moving up and down so what we need to do is i'm just going to change this magnitude to 25 or even shorter even let's let's just um i think 10 is good we don't need it to be too too moving too much and then i think i want to keep the size similar so let's let's head over to the size and we'll go we'll make it 250 by 250 so it's similar to the the coins okay great so now we can head over to the event sheet and what we can do is we can just copy and paste this whole thing here we'll change this to food and then what we're going to do is we're going to instead of this variable here we're going to select character variable instance variable we're going to add to health and then this is down to preference so saying the character has a 100 health how much do we want the food to increase the health do we want it to be a third half full so this is where you would change that value for now i will make it 50 just so we can say 
it restores half of your health. So on collision with food, I'd have add 50 to health. And now this health variable won't work just yet, but it will work eventually. For now, let's just head back over here. And what we want to do is we want to right click on the particle and we can just clone this object. So we'll call that food particle and then we'll rename, we'll make sure this one is coin particle just to keep everything organized. And for the food, I want this to be more of a ready orange color. Like this. And then we can just double click this. We can select the food particle. But we need to make sure now, so instead of coin, we need to go back and we're going to select food. Do the same with the coin one here. Destroy. And now what we can do is we can also clone the coins text. We can rename this to health. And then on the start of the layout, what we could do as well is we can make it so that the health text, we can set the text to health. So what that would be is that would be character dot health. And what this does is, so on the start of the layout, it will just update that text to be the same as the character self. And, and to make keep this simple, actually, what we'll do is we will just, instead of add to, we will just set. So we will just set the value. We'll set the value to 100 so that when you collect food, it will set your health back to max. And that keeps it nice and simple for now because we also have other food items as well which we can use for less. So we can fill your health up. We get the particle. The food is destroyed. We can select this here and then we'll go health set text character dot health and I won't see this take effect just yet but if we click play we now have 100 health and we can collect all the different things. Now, just for the sake of showing that working right now, we could just, we could add another object. So we could just add a sprite and we can make this a red square or something like that. And we'll just place this heal and we'll just call this damage. Something like that. This is just an example. We will add a behavior so we can, once again, we'll make this a solid. And then what we can do is we can go over, we can head over back to the event sheet and we can add an event and we can go character on collision with damage. We then want to select character and then what we want to do is we want to subtract from health and let's subtract 50. And we can copy this and paste this in here. Health set text to try that again and as you see now <laughs> there's no value on this so but as you can see that's working and then if we head over to over here it'll set back to 100 so great so that's all working okay guys so that's it for this episode and i'll see you in the next one